Good boy. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. You got no depth perception, Daddy. What are you doing? Huh? Whatever the fuck I want. What are you doing? Huh? What is it? What is it? Watch him. Watch him. Who is that? Huh? Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Really, just probably need Ford, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because they had those back in the what, the 50s, 60s? Yeah. So we were doing this cruise like about two years ago. We were all downtown. There's like that parking lot behind the city auditorium. We're all posted up as all the lowriders. And my, sh my car was out there, and all these people came up dressed like elves. Holy shit, what a beautiful day. Hello, everybody. Went ahead and made some brake lines for the rear axle. So that's done. New line is on there. I also have the e-brake cables, even though afterthought the e-brake is technically just sitting it on the frame, but at least I'll have it. So I gotta find some room under the dash, obviously for the e-brake handle, so I can keep that looking old school. I wanna make that shifter work for the automatic trans. <sighs> Dreams. Really, I just wanna get it running so I can have a car and then I can do all this stupid like making it pretty shit later but first things first I have to at least get the holes filled in get the new wire harness ran and uh, you know the basics start stop go etc pulled all the headliner poop out got the rear door panels off L lights are done. Still trying to figure out this brake situation. I may just redesign that or, I don't know, buy the $250 bolt-in version. Ooh, my knife. Still need to clean all this insulation shit out. Got most of the headliner out. It's a lot of work. Cut that shock tower so it's ready to go on. Just gotta weld it up. And I can do this side, get this air compressor hooked up. Need to figure out a way to convert this to where it quick connects to this hard line. Straight hard line, straight through. Because apparently that comes out of there really hot. Still need to trim around these boots so that when it's sitting perfectly flat on the ground, the boot doesn't hit the edge of that frame there. O-ring for the thermostat. Just little stuff, really. Um, I mean, it's a lot, but it's just a bunch of tiny little things I need to do over the course of a couple of days, like all day long days. But radiators here, 
oil cooler lines. I'll have a trans cooler line running up to the side as well. I have two matching oil coolers to go down low in front of the radiator. And then just tidy it up a little bit. I still got to wet sand the whole car, etc., etc. So if you guys would like to contribute in any way, shape, or form, I do not ask for donations through Patreon or subscriptions to my channel. All my videos stay free. They are strictly ad-supported, even if YouTube demonetizes them most of the time. So instead, buy yourself something nice. Go to waynesmerch.com or rebelordie.com. Links will be in the description. And purchase something. There is a 10% off code for the entire month of May for Mother's Day. And 10% uh, off your entire order. So fill up your cart and then apply the coupon code. And uh, yeah, get yourself a neat shirt or something. Buy your mom something nice. Got a bunch of new designs going up constantly. If you guys have any ideas for designs, obviously send them my way. Like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.